So I don't know how much you guys have been paying attention to myself and FaZe Clan lately. But I'm actually going to be moving into the FaZe House soon. I know we've been talking about that for a while. And we've said that, you know, we're going to have a FaZe House sooner or later. But now it's actually a reality. The day you guys are watching this video is actually the first move-in date for the FaZe House. Sunday, November 2nd is the day that Banks, Tommy, and Sensei are all moving in. I know Apex is moving in in about a week from that. And I don't know when I want to move in. I know I'll be in the house before December. But I don't know, people, like... I was so ready when we first ever talked about the phase house. It's in New York, by the way. That's that's also I didn't want to say for a long time, but it's in New York. Um, you know, I've, I was supposed to be in Cali, but we decided to do New York because of it's closer to the G Fuel headquarters. They're actually paying for the house and everything. Huge house, six bedrooms, and like I don't even know, but it's big. It's a really big house, and I was always so hyped to you know move into that house, and I was like, oh, I can't fucking wait to move into that house. I can't wait, can't wait. Like the second the second house is done, I'm in, guys. Don't worry about it. And that was my mentality for a long time, but from a kid. That's a huge mama's boy and a kid that, you know, has lived at home his entire life. Like, I've never ever lived outside home, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I've gone to, like, I guess, fucking events and sleepovers. The furthest I've been away from home was the one week I spent in California. Well, other than, like, you know, without my family. The longest I've been is the one week that I spent in Cali. Like, this, the more you get closer to it, the more, like, actually hits you. Like, I'm actually leaving home, dude. Like, it's not just another event. It's like, you're moving out. Your life is about to change. Like, you... I don't know, it's just crazy when you get that close to it. And when you feel like there's people that are here that you want to stay for or something, it kind of, like, makes you not want to move, really. Like, that's the thing, like, but you have to understand that it's something, like, it's not that I don't want you, you know what I mean? Like, I do, but at the same time, I don't. But I really, really do, and I feel like I will. Like, I'm 100% going to do it in December, and I know I'll be happy with that decision, but actually getting into the process of moving, that's the hardest thing. I mean, if I fucking hated my family and everything, it'd be the easiest thing in the world to move, but... You know, when you love your family so much and they're like a huge part of your life and I, I don't know, it's just, it, it kind of sucks. My mom actually wants to visit the FaZe house too. She's like, oh, I'm down to come and I asked Tommy Banks, like, hell yeah, dude, bring your mom, blah, blah, blah. Tommy said he's going to be my fucking stepdad. That's not cool. But obviously he was kidding about that. But I'm saying like, you know, I I can't wait. Dude, my mom's, you know, she's really supportive of this. I mean, she's really sad. I mean, I've been telling her that, mom, I'm going to move soon. I'm going to move soon for like the longest time. And then I'm like, mom, so moving date Saturday. Well, it was supposed to be November 1st originally, but they wanted an extra day so they could paint the rooms and everything. So, I told her that, and then she got really sad, she started crying, and then, you know, my mom was big old sweetheart. She's like, I just thought you were kidding! <laughs> you know, like, and it's exact, the same thing happened with Tommy's mom, too, it's crazy. But I definitely want to come back, like, every single month and visit my mom, like, just for, like, a weekend or something. I mean, that's, that's not taking out anything from me. My mom's biggest fear is that, like, she thinks I'm gonna, like, forget her or something. It's just kind of, like, crazy, you know, like, I love my family. I'm gonna miss my little puppy! We were gonna get a dog, actually, but I'm gonna miss my little baby, my little pookie. She's actually really sick right now, she's actually, like... I don't know what's wrong with her, but she's really, really sick, and I'm really sad about that. But I know you guys support me, and you guys are always like, oh, dude, take your time. The, you guys are just so, so supportive, so nice, so awesome, and I really, really do thank you guys for that. But honestly, I want to kill it in Advanced Warfare. I really want to do big things, and I really, really want to, like, you know, make you guys proud, because, you know, I always try my best, and I always want to do that, and I know moving into the house is really going to, like, make my quality and my production and just everything just so much better. You guys have no clue. When I get into my new room in the house, I'm going to have Albert Einstein posters all over the fucking house and in my room. Are you kidding me? I'm going to make my own custom Albert Einstein Einstein posters, I can't believe it, like, I'm gonna get the whole niggas, oh my Christ, they're gonna be amazing. So excited thinking about it, just imagine, you walk into my room, if that nigga is a whack nigga, what was it again, if that nigga is a whack nigga, don't fuck with that nigga, something like that, but that is the most inspirational thing I've ever said in my fucking life. Oh, and there we go, I'm out of the call. Yes, I hit another shot with the verified clan tag, let's get it. I love it. I love this clan tag, dude. This, dude, the one time, I'm on a two bar through that entire game. That was sick! That was actually sick, a nice little 1080. Bang, dude, I'm killing the game. I'm killing it. So this will probably be my last Black Ops 2 commentary for a while. I mean, until, you know, actually, I might, I told you guys, I might just, you know, end up just getting back on this game making videos. Because I told you guys I'm not going to, like, overdo Advanced Warfare. Because if everybody does, I know you guys are going to get sick of it. I don't want to do that. I'm going to play what the fuck I enjoy. And I know you guys respect that. So, but I am going to play the game. It's not like I'm just going to leave the game. It's not going to be like Ghost. I will play the game. So far, I do like it. But I have to finish this. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Norton Chat. I want you guys to keep it real. Peace out, everybody.